So one of the common characteristics that I see amongst all the high-performing men that I've helped coach over the years is that they are all great leaders in their own right. And typically when they come to me, when they've reached a point where they're sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know, they want their energy back, they want to get back in shape or just be proud of the guy staring back in the mirror, basically what, what they'll share with me is that they want a physical side of things to match the intellectual side. And it got me thinking about leadership in its own right, right? You're probably a leader of yourself if you're watching this. And what I've learned over the years is there's different ways of leadership, but I want to share with you three ways to be a very effective leader. And if you're already a leader, well, then this can amplify things, or maybe you're already doing these things. And if you find yourself wanting to get better, these can only help. At least I've found. Number one, in terms terms of being an effective leader is being able to lead yourself first. And what that means is making sure that you uh, back your talk with your walk, right? It's it's one thing to say you're going to do something, but to follow through is a whole different story, right? And I think this comes in terms, especially in, in in regards to health and well-being, is the guy that maybe has had the best intentions to start on his own health journey, but he keeps telling everybody, hey, I'm going to start, and then they quit, right? And then people go, I told you so. So in order for them to actually trust what they're going to do in the future, they've got to start following through on what they said they would do. So the very first thing is to lead yourself first. Number two is to go first. Whatever it is someone's you know, wanting someone else to do, it's very hard to get someone to inspire someone else to action if what you're sharing, you're not doing yourself, right? It could be like the parent telling the kid to eat healthy and yet the parent is eating crap food. It's incongruent, right? So you gotta make sure that we go first. Number three is that you must go first in the way that you feel. The reality is, is that emotional intelligence is huge in the realm of leadership. And oftentimes I think we can think that we, we assume that other people know what we're, how we're feeling or know what we want, but no, they don't, right? And, and we're human, so you must be able to communicate what's on your mind and at the same time be able to understand the other side of where the person's coming from, right? Put yourself in their shoes and, and know like, hey, okay, I get this. And I think when you match all three of those together, at least I found from my experience, when you're willing to lead yourself first, when you're willing to go first, and you're willing to go first in how you feel, that right there is a very effective way for leadership and to help others really come on board and trust you to go to bat for you, whether it's in your business, whether it's on the home front, it, it relates into all aspects of leadership.